said we see things we want to buy I want it now we sometimes cry but even though they may look great I want it now the final sale will have to Benjamin Pumpernickel each received a holiday card from their grandparents with $20 inside. They were so excited to get this money. They first used the money to buy a $5 toy online. The website offered free shipping if you wait a week or next day delivery for an extra dollar. I can't wait, Benjamin said. He clicked the $1 extra charge for it to arrive tomorrow. I mean, come on. I have $15 left after buying the toy. What does an extra dollar even matter? He said to himself. Penny, on the other hand, wanted to save her money. Every dollar was important. She decided to wait a week and take the free shipping. Of course I'll wait, she said to herself. I'll have that toy for the rest of my life. I can wait if it means I get to keep an extra dollar. Later that day, they walked by their friend Frankie's fruit shop. Wow, you're so cool. You're an entrepreneur, the kid said to Frankie. Yes, I love running my own business said Frankie, and I have two bowls of fruit you can choose from. One was $2, with a mix of three local fruits. The other was the same size bowl, for $4, but with fruits from all over the world. Benjamin thought to himself, wow, fruits from all over the world? For only $2 more? I still have $14. So he bought the fancy fruit bowl, leaving him with $10. Penny decided to save $2 and got the simple bowl. She now had $13 left. They handed their money to Frankie and said, thank you. With their fruit bowls almost finished, they arrived to the movie theater. They were ready to see the new superhero movie. The theater had a special deal, $7 for a movie ticket and a free box of popcorn. Without the deal, it was $3 for a movie ticket. A deal, Benjamin said, I'm in. And he instantly exchanged the $7 for popcorn and a movie ticket. Penny thought to herself, $7 for a movie ticket and popcorn? or $3 for a ticket alone. That means the popcorn is actually $4. That's not a deal, and we have popcorn at home. She handed over her $3 in exchange for the ticket. She now had $10 remaining. They left the movie and Benjamin threw away over half a tub of popcorn. He was too full from the fruit he'd eaten earlier. Walking home, they saw a bookstore and Penny wanted to go inside. Penny saw some Walter the Vault books for $5 each. Let's get one, said Penny, pulling out her $10 bill. Walter always has great advice. What? Lucky! How do you still have $10? Said Benjamin. We did all the same things. It's not luck, Benjamin, said Penny. We did all the same things, but I made sure to save money every chance I could. And there weren't many chances to save money today, you know? Plus, when I save my money, I usually have more money for the future. And that's good, in case there are other things I want to buy. Like right now, she said. I want to buy this book for you. She grabbed one of the Walter the Vault books about money and handed it over to Benjamin. She picked up a second book for herself. Aw, thanks Penny, you're the best sister ever. And you're pretty smart to save your money. It's crazy how fast it can disappear. Next time I'll be more careful. It's easy to feel rich when you have a lot of cash, but it can be gone so quickly when you spend it too fast. Sometimes we get excited and spend money right away. But oftentimes, if you can wait, you'll have money for another day. Penny and Benjamin Pumpernickel were at a store. Penny was so thirsty, but she'd forgotten her reusable water bottle, so she went to buy a drink instead. Benjamin was thirsty too, but he'd forgotten his cash. Penny, will you pay for me? Asked Benjamin. I'll pay for you next time, I promise. Penny agreed, this was a fair deal. So she paid for Benjamin this time. The next time Penny and Benjamin were out again, it was Benjamin's turn to pay. However, he'd forgotten his wallet again. Penny, will you pay for me again? I'll pay the next two times, really, Penny agreed. Though she started to realize that Benjamin was quite forgetful. She'd help him remember next time. Later that week, Penny and Benjamin were getting ready to head out. Benjamin, it's your turn to pay. Did you bring your wallet? Penny reminded him. Oh, Benjamin said. He ran to get his wallet before leaving the house. Oh man, Penny exclaimed. I forgot my water bottle too. Let me go get it. She ran back to the kitchen to grab her water bottle. They returned to the living room with their things and walked out the door. 
the next week, Penny and Benjamin were about to go out. They knew they'd be spending money. Benjamin, you promised to pay one more time. Did you? But Penny didn't even have a chance to finish her sentence. Benjamin whipped his wallet out of his pockets. Whoa! You remembered this time. How? said Penny. I put a sticky note on my door, Benjamin said with pride. I left myself a note so I wouldn't forget. Sometimes I have trouble remembering things until it's too late, he said. So I have to come up with tricks to remember things. <laughs> it's like helping myself in the future, he laughed. That's amazing, said Penny. She thought for a moment. Do you have an extra sticky note? He handed her one. Thanks. I think this will help me remember my water bottle too. It's good to know yourself, know your weaknesses and strengths. If you need a little reminder, go the extra length. Write yourself a note and give yourself a clue. If something must be done, you'll remember what to do. Oh, look, Penny is on the computer. Penny, what are you up to? Hey, Walter the Vault, I'm shopping online. I'm going to throw a surprise party for Benjamin's birthday. How neat. What are you thinking about buying? Well, there are a lot of good deals on this party planning website. They have buy two get one free for magicians, 10 disco balls for 100, buy 50 balloons and get another 25 for free, even a DJ that will work for free if you spend $200. So, yeah, now I'm trying to decide what to do. Yeah, those are good deals. But are you sure you really need so many things? Hmm, you're right. These add up to a lot of money. I think one disco ball and one magician may be enough. Maybe only a couple of balloons and $200 just for a DJ? We don't need a DJ. I can just make a playlist of Benjamin's favorite songs. Wonderful idea. That's a good way to cut down on the things you don't have to buy. And you'll save some money. Exactly, Walter. While I want to host a great party for Benjamin, it's better not to buy so many things. Plus, I can always buy some things in the future if I decide I really want it. His birthday is still a few weeks away. Great thinking, Penny. It's so important to be smart with your money and separate your wants and needs. Wants and needs are not the same. You need food you want again. Remember this when in a store? You won't waste money anymore. There is a difference between things you want and things you need. You need some food you want again. Remember this when in a store? You won't waste money anymore. There is a difference between things you want and things you need. I said, your wants and needs are not the same. You need some food you want again. Benjamin Pumpernickel was at the store, looking for magic tricks, goodies, and more, when he stumbled upon a magnificent sight, a cheerful vault with a shining purple light. Hello, my friend, said Walter with a smile. I'm Walter the Vault. Can you talk for a while? I can help you save, earn money, and spend. I'm here to be your very best friend. Wow, said his sister Penny, a cute vault that can speak. She ran over from the toys to come and take a peek. Yes, I'm a vault. I'll help you save money. I know many great rhymes, and some say I'm quite funny. We'd love to take you home, but we don't have the cash. We can work for it, Penny said. Let's get started really fast. Walter was so excited, he jumped with glee. I'll be waiting here, and I'm sure you'll succeed. But how do we make money? Asked Penny and Ben. We can sell our toys to our neighbors and friends. I still like some of my toys. I don't want to give them all away. She did play with those toys every single day. What about a skill? What can we make? What can we do that make money right away? A bake sale, said Ben, with a grin so wide. We'll bake cupcakes and cookies, he stated with pride. Everyone loves sweets. Let's get started, Penny agreed. 
They headed to the kitchen and gathered everything they'd need, though baking was much harder than they thought it would be. They had batter on their pants and eggs on their knee. Just in time, their mom came to check in. Can you help us? asked the kids. I can, she grinned. They talked about pricing. Not too low, not too high. If we charge 100 each, everyone will walk by. They talked and agreed on a price that would do. How about $1 for the cookies and the cupcakes for two? Outside they went with their signs, tables, and snacks. Cupcakes, cookies, the customers came in packs. And what would you know, sooner than you'd believe, they were all sold out and they felt such relief. We made enough money, we can afford our new friend. They ran back to Mooney's shop and found him again. Walter, we did it. I'm so proud of you two. You set a goal and made it come true. We'll have a great friendship, just you wait and see. You'll be wise with your choices, financially. Now who is this? asked their mom with a big surprise. They introduced Walter, happy with sparkles in his eyes. He's Walter the Vault. He's friendly and nice. He's filled with poems and financial advice. We worked hard to earn money, and now you can see we bought Walter the Vault, and we're so... Oh, look! Penny just got home. Penny, how was your day? It was good. I went shopping for some school supplies. What's that money in your hand? It's my pocket change. It's the money I didn't spend. I'm impressed. It's great you didn't spend all of your money. What do you plan to do with what's left? Huh. Actually, I was thinking I'd save my money. You never know when you'll need it in the future. Wonderful idea. Would you like me to hold on to it for you? That'd be great. Thanks, Walter. Save your nickels. Save your dimes. Listen well to all my rhymes. And if you do, it's me you'll thank for all the money in your bank. Oh, look, Penny is heading out the door. Penny, what are you up to today? Hey, Walter the Vault, I'm about to go buy supplies for my lemonade stand. Sounds great. What's that paper in your hand? It's my shopping list. It's the ingredients that I plan to buy at the store. I don't want to spend too much money, you know. I'm impressed. It's very responsible that you plan ahead. That makes you a smart shopper. Well, Walter, it's important to be careful and not to spend too much money. I mean, my goal is to make money from this lemonade sale. The grocery store has many amazing snacks and temptations. And once you spend your money, it's gone. It's not yours anymore. This list will help me stick to my budget. Good thinking, Penny. And hey, that sounds like a rhyme that I know. Thanks, Walter. And can I hear your special rhyme? Well, of course. Before you spend it, you must choose exactly how much cash to use. Because once you spend it in a store, the money is not yours anymore. Before you spend it, you must choose exactly how much cash to use. Because once you spend it in a store, that money's not yours anymore. Your wants and needs are not you need food, you want a game. Listen well to all my raps. If you do, it's me you bank. It's money in your bank. Penny and Benjamin each received $50 gift cards for a toy store. That day, they went to the store. And even though they didn't see anything they really, really wanted... Benjamin decided to buy some random things. It's free money, Benjamin said with his hands full of goodies. Penny smiled at Benjamin and tucked her gift card into her wallet. The next week, they happened to walk by the shop and they saw an amazing remote-controlled car. Benjamin, let's both get one and race the cars together, said Penny. 
grabbing her gift card out of her wallet. Benjamin loved this idea. He looked into his wallet, but the gift card was gone. Oh yeah, he said. I already spent it all the day I got it. Gift cards are a different way to pay. They let you buy in a special way. You can use them at your favorite store. If you spend them wisely, you'll get what you adore. Penny and Benjamin Pumpernickel saw an advertisement for a job walking dogs. When Benjamin applied, the family told him they could pay $10 per hour. He said, okay. When Penny applied, the family told her they could pay $10 per hour. However, Penny decided to negotiate. She explained she could teach their dogs to sit and wait across the road and even take them to the dog park to run around. She asked to be paid $20 an hour instead. The family thought for a while, then everyone agreed $15 per hour was fair. It's always good to negotiate pay. If you ask for a little more, they may say, okay. List all your skills and why you're someone to trust. They'll realize the higher pay is a must. Yo, you earn money by working. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah! Benjamin Pumpernickel happened upon a large jar of bubblegum sitting on his dining room table. He reached in and grabbed as many pieces as he could. However, when he tried to get his hand out, he couldn't. It was stuck. He pulled and pulled, but nothing worked. He couldn't get his hand out. His sister Penny heard Benjamin's cry and came to see what was wrong. Oh, Benjamin, she said, if you were happier with less and you only grabbed a few at a time, you'd be able to pull your hand out easily. Benjamin understood. He let go of half of the bubblegum pieces. And what do you know, his hand came out with ease. Thanks, Penny, said Benjamin. You're welcome, said Penny. Setting goals is smart to do. Plan ahead, it's good for you. Every single step you take brings you towards the goals you make. Penny and Benjamin Pumpernickel received $10 each for their weekly allowance. Benjamin usually likes to spend his full $10 on random things. With Penny's $10, she usually sets aside $5 to save and $5 to spend. Her brother made fun of her for this because he always had twice as many cool things than her each week. However, she knew what she was doing and she liked to save her money. At the end of the year, Penny had lots of money saved in her vault. And one day, her friends invited her to a theme park. She asked her parents' permission. And at first, they said, I don't know. But when she offered to pay for the ticket all by herself, her family agreed. Benjamin overheard this conversation, and he wanted to join too. OK, if you can buy your own ticket too, then you can join your sister, said his mom. However, he only had $10, the money he got earlier this week from his allowance. You may have a jar full of pennies, Pockets all filled up with 20s. But if you keep spending all year, your money soon will disappear. You may have a jar full of pennies, pockets all filled up with 20s. But if you keep spending all year, your money will soon disappear. Oh, look, Penny just got home. Penny, how was your day? It was good. I went shopping for some school supplies.
What's that money in your hand? It's my pocket change. It's the money I didn't spend. I'm impressed. It's great you didn't spend all of your money. What do you plan to do with what's left? Huh. Actually, I was thinking I'd save my money. You never know when you'll need it in the future. Wonderful idea. Would you like me to hold on to it for you? That'd be great. Thanks, Walter. Save your nickels. Save your dimes. Listen well to all my rhymes. And if you do, it's me you'll thank for all the money in your bank. Penny and Benjamin Pumpernickel were playing at the playground down the street. They'd just been out shopping yesterday and had on their amazing new clothes. When it was time to go home, they decided to take a shortcut through the raspberry bushes. However, while making their way through the bushes, their brand new clothes got caught up in the thorns. There were tears and cuts all over their clothes. Oh no, my new dress is ruined, said Penny. She was so sad because she had just bought it. Later that day, Penny had changed her clothes and was looking online to see how much it cost to buy a new dress. When suddenly, Benjamin walked into the room and he was wearing his new shirt, the one he bought yesterday. But there were no rips. It looked perfect. Benjamin, when did you have time to buy a new shirt? Asked Penny. I didn't buy a new one, said Benjamin. I fixed it. Easy, he said. Whoa, how did you fix it? said Penny. I know how to sew, said Benjamin. Wow, cool, said Penny. Do you think you could fix my dress too? Sure, he said. How about I teach you? Penny was so happy to learn a new skill, and Benjamin was a great teacher. Next thing you know, her dress was saved, and her money was saved too. There's value in learning a skill or two. When things go wrong, you'll know what to do. Study each day and grow what you know. You'll have the skills you'll be happy to show. <laughs> <laughs>